If you compare English accents, there's quite a lot of variations in the vowel sounds. And today we'll be looking at how to pronounce vowels besides regional varieties. So we'll be looking at how to pronounce vowels in British English. Before we get started, don't forget to connect with me on social media. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. And if you like this video, press the thumbs up, give me a like, press the like button, and also connect with me on Facebook. Follow me on my page and like my page. Okay, today we'll be looking at how to pronounce the vowels in English. The vowels in English. Now, in English, we have 20 vowel sounds. Yes, I said 20. We have five letters in the English alphabet, five vowel letters in English alphabet, but these letters have different sounds. So it is the different sounds that each letter make that makes us have the 20 vowel sounds. And that's why I said besides regional varieties, because we have other varieties of English that have more than 20 vowel sounds. But in British English, we have 20 vowel sounds. I've done a video on the introduction to the English sound system. That's the first part of this series, the English sound system. So I'll place the link in the description box and I'll also place the card here so you can watch the video. That's the first series of this, the first video of this series. Now today's lesson, how to pronounce vowel sounds. Now the pure vowel sounds are also called monosongs. I told you before in our previous video, I would like you to watch it, that vowels are sounds made with no obstruction of airflow. The air just comes out freely. There is no speech organ obstructing the air. So the air is flowing out. And vowels are divided into two. We have the monothongs and diphthongs. So today's lesson, we will be looking at monothongs. Monothong is a sound in which the tongue stays in the same position. When you're producing monothongs, the tongue is in one position and it is a sound of one quality. Monothongs are divided into two. You know, we have 12 monothongs and they are divided into two. We have the short monothongs and we have the long monothongs. The short monothongs are seven and the long monothongs are five. So seven plus five makes 12. Now I will be giving you, uh, for each sound, I'll give you a corresponding symbol from the International Phonetic Alphabet. So the corresponding symbol symbols are here, the IPA. I'll give you the IPA, then the word, then we'll transcribe it using the IPA. So let's begin with the short monothongs, the short monothongs. Don't forget when you're producing monothongs, take note of the shape of your lips. Generally, when you're producing vowel sounds, you must be conscious of the shape of your lips. Your lips can be spread, they can be rounded or neutral. So you must be conscious of the shape of your lips. I'll give you time to say the sound after me because I want it to repeat exactly as I say it. So when I say the sound, I say the word, I want you to repeat with me and I'll try not to be in a haste. So let's begin with the short vowel, the short monotone. The first sound we have here is A. 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 Good. This sound is produced with the leaves spread. It is a short sound. It is basically the short I sound. It is produced with your lips spread. A. A. The sound is not E. No. It is A. 
A, we have it in this word, sit, sit, sit. A couple of people will say seeds. It is not seeds. It is sit. You have a, sit, sit, sit. So when you're producing the sound, your leaves are spread. A, A, A. Okay, we also have it in this word, ink, ink, A, ink, ink. It is a short I sound. It is a short sound, ink. Okay, so the next short sound we have is a, a, a. This sound is the sound for letter E. Let's pronounce the sound again. A, a. Your lips are neutral. They are not as spread as a. The sound is a, a, a. And we have it in pets, pets, p, e, t, pets, pets. And we also have it in end, end, e, n, d, end, end, end. Good. So the third short sound we have is a, a, a. This is the short sound for letter A. When you're producing the sound, your lips are in neutral position. A, a, a. And we have it in fat, fat. And we also have it in and, and, a, and, and, and. Good. I hope you're repeating after me. Because one way you can learn is when you repeat. Your mouth must be open. Make use of your mouth. Don't keep quiet. Okay, the next short sound we have is the sound for letter O. The short sound for letter O, and it is O, O, O. Now this sound is also produced with the lips in neutral position. Your lips are not spread, they are not rounded, they are in neutral position. O, O, and we have it in these words, on, on, O, Mm, on, on, and we also have it in top, top, t up, t up, top, top. Good. The fifth vowel sound, the fifth short monotone, the fifth short vowel sound we have is. Oh, oh. Now most people pronounce this sound as oo, but this sound is not oo. It is o, oh, o. Oh. When you're producing the sounds, the sound, your lips are rounded. O, oh, o, oh, o. Oh. You can see the shape of my lips. So it is not spread like. E or E. Now that is it a neutral like A or E. It is rounded. O. 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 And we have it in these words. Cook. So you wouldn't say cook. You say cook. Cook. K. O. K. 
The letter C at the beginning is making the sound K. You can check it out on my video on consonants. I have a de detailed explanation of how to produce consonant sounds. But this is vowel, so let's look at the vowel here. So we have cook, cook, k, o, k, cook, cook. And the second example, put, put, p, o, t, p, o, t, put, put. So this word is not put because the sound is not oo. It is o, o, put, put. The sixth sound we have is the short sound for letter U. And the short letter U says a, uh, a. Uh. When you're producing the sound also, your lips are in neutral position. They are not spread, neither are they rounded. They are in neutral position. A, 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 as in up. Up, 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 and we also have it in mum, mum, mm, ah, mm, mum, mum. So you find out that this sound is not all, it is different from the all sound. You find out that this sound is different from the all sound, so you wouldn't say. Up. It is not up. Your lips are not supposed to be rounded. It is not up. It is up. Up. Your lips are in neutral position. Up. Up. The last short vowel sound we have is the schwa. It is a weak sound. You don't um, take in much stress. Use more stress in producing the sound. You don't use much effort and the sound is uh, uh, uh. and we have it in teacher teacher uh, uh. teacher teacher uh. and we also have it in a uh, go a uh, go Go. So letter A at the beginning of this word is taking the schwa. Uh, a go. A go. So we've gone through the short vowels, the short monosongs. Let's run quickly again through the sounds and I want you to repeat after me. I'll give you time to repeat. Don't forget when you're producing vowels, you must be conscious of the shape of your lips. Because you could be pronouncing the sound or thinking you're pronouncing the sound, but the shape of your lips is saying another thing. So if you want to pronounce the sounds, make sure you position the shape of your lips well. Okay, let's run through the seven short vowels again. A, 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 A. Ah, ah, oh, 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 ah, ah, uh, uh. Okay, now let's look at the long monothongs. We've gone through the short monothongs. Now let's look at the long monothongs. The long monothongs are five in number. Now the difference between the short and the long sounds is that the time, the duration spent in producing this sound, these sounds are longer. So when you're producing the short sounds, you make it short. But producing the long sounds, you make it long. That's why it's called the long sound. So produce a short sound, make it short. Don't spend much time producing these sounds. When you're producing the long sounds, 
make it long, spend time in producing the sounds. And these sounds also have what you call length marks. You can see the colon at the front of the sound, the two dots, it's called length mark. So whenever you see these sign, it shows it's a long sound. So that's the main difference between the long sound and the short sound. Now let's go through the long sounds and don't forget to repeat after me. So the first long sound we have is E. You see, the time I spent in producing the sound is long. E. E. Now this sound is the long sound for letter E. E. And you produce the sound with your lips spread. As if you want to take a snapshot. Cheese. You're like E. That's this sound. E. You want to smile. A big smile. E. Good. Okay. Now let's look at some words you use in producing the sound. This sound, E, is found in seeds. Seeds. Eat. Eat. Now this seed is different from sit. This is sit. Sit down. Sit down is a short sound. Seeds. Can I have my seeds, please? Seeds. So when you're producing this sound, be conscious of the vowel. Don't say sit when you want to say seeds. Sit. Seeds. I hope you're following. Then we also have it in me. You can hear the sound. It's dragging. It shows it's a long sound. Me. Me, me, e. Your lips are spread. Now the next sound we have is ah, ah. Your lips are not spread; they are neutral. Ah, like when you're surprised, you see something and you exclaim ah. <laughs> that's that's this sound ah. Ah, what happened? Ah, so the ah is this sound. It's a long sound. Ah, and it's mainly found in words with a r. Ah, so we have it in parts. Parts. P art. P art. Part. Next word we have is arc. Ark, ark, ark. Good. The next vowel is from the shape of my lips. You can tell it is a rounded sound. So the sound is o, o. It is the sound produced with the lips in rounded position. O. So when you see the sound. Just think of the two-letter word O R, O O. That's this sound O. So we have it in port, port, sea port or airport. Now this is not cooking port. It's wrong. It's cooking pot. So your P O T is not pronounced port. It is. Pot is a short sound. Pot, pot, and this is pot. Okay, and we have it in jaw, jaw, or jaw. The next vowel we have is ooh, ooh. It is also produced with rounded lips. It is a long sound of letter U. Ooh. Ooh, and we have it in pool, pool, like a swimming pool, 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 and also 
Sūc. 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 The last long vowel sound we have is ö. Ö. This is a pure English sound. Ö. Ö. Your lips are not spread. They are not rounded. They are in neutral position. Ö. And it's in girl. 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 And work. Work. Uh, so the sound is not eh. So you wouldn't say girl. It's not girl. It's not girl or work. No. It is when you say girl, that's a eh sound. It's wrong. You say girl, girl, uh, girl, girl, work, work. Now this is British pronunciation. American pronunciation for this sound is er. You roll your tongue. Er. Girl. Work. But this is British. The British pronunciation is er. Girl. And work. So we've gone through the 12 monotones. Let's have a, re a rundown of this again. I want you to repeat after me. Let's look at the long vowels one more time. E. E, R, R, O, O, U, U, and E, E. Don't forget, when you're producing vowel sounds, you must be conscious of the shape of your lips. It could be spread, neutral, or rounded. Once you get the shape of your lips right, then you produce the vowel sounds right. Now, this lesson is on monotone. So, our next lesson will talk about diphthong. So, stay tuned and watch out for that lesson. Thanks for watching today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I want you to practice always. Don't just watch the video once and forget it go through the lesson play it over and over again go through the sounds use the sounds in words in your daily conversation so it will get used to you if you haven't subscribed to this channel extra stars academy please subscribe and if you like this video give me a thumbs up press the like button i would also like to know more examples of words on the vowels and i want you to place your comments in the comment section. So we'll see you again in our next class. Stay safe. Bye for now.